my people, we here with another episode of Do Your Homework with Tito. Yes, sir. And today we happen to have Andy Ordonez. That's me. <laughs> Desde el Bronx y Santa Fe Guiriga. Me tenés. <laughs> Andy, how you doing, man? Oh, good, bro. I'm happy to, you know, have this opportunity. Opportunity, sorry, with you guys. Mm-hmm. Alex Diego, my cousin Nildo, Don Julian. And of course, El Pingolinis. Yes, yes, yes. Respect to you guys, man. You guys are doing a great job with this, man. And this is really needed. Mm-hmm. And not got even that music game, man. I appreciate it. Yes, we sir. appreciate it. <laughs> so, yeah, man, how has it been, man? Like, you know, it's been a while. You know, the yeah. last time we heard, um, what you call it, anything from you, well, well, you do have, you know, um, <laughs> two music videos out. Yeah. Which is Chagulumami and, you know, While I Got You. Yeah. And that's like you know, that's like you know, your comeback to the, to the music game because you know you took a little break that not too many people know about, but you took a break. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yeah, life, right? Yes, sir. Yes, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, bro. Um, how old were you when you picked up your first instrument? I was nine. Nine years old. Yeah, yeah nine years old to be exact. Um, I remember like as if it was yesterday. Uh, family gatherings. My father would always give me um. The Bogudwe, okay. uh-huh. playing all night. Oh, wow. And <clears throat> his album came out, I remember, 04. 04. Gadifuna Emu Niumela. Okay. That's the name of the album. Gadifuna is my language, but I can't know what I'm saying. I can't understand, but So um, that album came out, it exploded. We went to Santa Maria de Cacho. I didn't know that I was going to play with him. He just put me on the on stage with him and... I started playing that same year. I went to Enders, mm-hmm. and I fell in love with God even music. Oh, this wow. Is, yeah. Like, after wow. the first time I visited Giriga, mm-hmm. me and my friends, we used to, like, we would go to like five different homes uh-huh. and stay with latas okay. and play in every house, household and stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah. by this time, you was you was playing what? The Tortuga? Yeah, Tortuga. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. Turtle a little, yeah, a little That's, something like That's what's up, though. Start off. Yeah. So you were how old? Nine. nine. I was years nine. Old. Wow! Look at that. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. All right. So mm-hmm. at that at that age, right? Because you know, when we kids, we all have you know, um, thoughts of wanting to be, you know, um, um, a musician or artist or anything yeah. like that or whatever. So, what were your thoughts on Garifuna music when you first started? My thoughts on Garifuna music. Oh man, I was right, so I was always a shy kid. Mm-hmm. So in first grade, I used to go to um, a Catholic school. Okay. So, me as a kid, you era como shy, but mm-hmm. easily, easily um, distracted, distracted, okay. distracted mm-hmm. yeah. So, it was one day I remember, <laughs> we all reading, the class is quiet. Mm-hmm. But me, I'm so distracted that I'm doing the work, I don't get it. The teacher, she didn't want to help me. Mm-hmm. I put the pencil down and I put my head down and I, I just start singing. Mm-hmm. Now, the class is so quiet, like I said, I didn't realize everybody heard me. Oh, wow. So I'm like this. Mm-hmm. Look up. Everybody said to me like, Wow. What are you singing? <laughs> it was good. You with you, do you remember what you were singing? Yeah. Wow. What song was it? Just the song. You don't got to sing Ongu it. Ongula Mama. <laughs> <laughs> My pops. <laughs> That's what's up. That's really yeah. what's up. All right. So, yeah. so all right. So, um, basically, all right, you were in school. So, yeah. is that when you realized that, you know, that's what you want to do? Or was it after? Uh, I wanted to do it, but I didn't, me, as a kid, I was like, I want to do it, but I don't have the talent, you know, I didn't believe in myself, you know, it oh, was, wow. it was tough, you know, it was tough growing up because you go to school, you're not in the Garifuna environment, you go home, you in the whole Garifuna environment, so it's like, mm-hmm. you're not sure what you want to do musically, Yeah. and you know, um, during that time, I wanted to do reggae, and oh, I'm not wow. even, yeah, Okay. because I remember, oof. I would hear Bob Mark. My dad would have different CDs and cassettes mm-hmm. of every artist. When I say every artist, it's like, damn. Yeah, every I, artist. I, I didn't know what to choose. Oh, know? wow. Yeah, okay. it was interesting, yeah. That's interesting. So you wanted to sing reggae at first? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, reggae, yeah. Like, I thought that would actually put me out there just because I was around Americans and, like, mm. yeah. It was just me being shy to show... To show off my culture during the time. Okay, was there a specific um reggae artist you was listening to, or you just wanted to do reggae because that's what you were around and you know you were exposed to it? 
specific reggae artists, yeah, it'll be Lucky Doobie. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. All right. So, um, so when, so, all right. So now, right, we're going to fast forward a little bit mm-hmm. to the time where you decided, like, all right, I want to be an artist. But, like, for real, for real, not yeah. just the idea. Like, you yeah. know, you're not, in a, you, like, you're not a kid anymore. You're growing up and you say to yourself, like, all right, I want to be an artist. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, that time came when, um, I forgot, was it 2010? Lil June. Mm-hmm. He released his album, his mixtape. It was you. It was, I seen a lot of people my age mm-hmm. that y'all was all doing that thing. Yeah, definitely. It was Lil June. It was a few. Got even not outlaws. It was a lot of heads that I didn't even know during the time. I said, yo, a lot of young people doing their thing, and I'm out here just playing mm-hmm. tambor. <laughs> that was telling myself. <laughs> and that and one you, conga. And that one conga. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm out here like, yo, if they, they could do it, I could do it too. Mm-hmm. So that day, it was so packed that I only went there. To watch that perform. Oh, Literally, wow. Yeah, I had a curfew during the time. It was all the way in Brooklyn. Oh, wow. While the concert was getting started, my mom was blowing up my phone like, where you at? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy in them times. <laughs> yeah, in them times. Oh, wow. So I remember with Lil June, they didn't even perform yet. And I had to go home. Oh, wow. So um, mm-hmm. I saw a little bit of his performance. I saw everybody doing their thing. I had to leave. I said, I was walking back to the train like, yeah, I want to do it. My, I want to actually perform. Yeah. I want to do my thing, but how mm-hmm. can I do it? I don't know how to do it. Wow. Yeah. So, okay. Lil June concert. Shout out to Lil June. That's what's up. Uh, Lil June first concert. That's mm-hmm. when I told myself I want to become an artist. Yeah. <laughs>